Kamera mı alıyorsun? He, sokağa alıyorum. Abi. Küçücük Meryem'e göre. Ayın mı? Ayın mı? Ayın mı? Ayın mı? Ayın mı? Esma Meryem'e göre. Ben de kendime yeni bir saat alacağım. Evinde kendime yeni bir saat alacağım. Nasıl? 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 Yes, it's all from Senegal. Thank you, brother. It's the nice video. O dedi anneli seni çok seviyor. My own visual problem. Yes. I'm on the I'm on the I'm I'm a refugee. You understand? So let me say I was living in the youth, but I'm now 18. You understand? I'm living by myself. Yes. You understand with my friend? You understand? Yes. So since this satellite city and really because it's not only me started let me say from another uh, african people you understand who are in another satellite city like konya eskishe antalya you know yaloba you understand they are signing every day you understand but it is very difficult for them really to pay their transport to go to konya and sign you understand and also about this e-commerce issue you understand because they, they give you this e-commerce they say that you should not work it's mean that really the e-commerce is a very funny thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's, a, it's just a very funny document really you have you know, in, in the pocket, you understand? So, actually, whenever they give you a document, it means that really you need to be free from the country, you need to work really. You understand? Mm -hmm. And also, the life is very difficult really. There's a lot of people who have accepted writing letters to the UN. You understand? They have been waiting two years now, three years now. You understand? Four years, five years. They have did their interview, everything. Some of them they have not even did their interview. Mm -hmm. They have been writing letters to the UN from Ankara, calling them, explaining them their problem. But they are not looking up to them, up to now, really. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, the, the young union refugee, we have their relay before. We have been organizing lots of meetings, you understand? 
uh, invite a lot of organization of the NGOs in let me say in Turkey understand so uh, writing a lot of application letter sending them they are not even answering or considering if we are the person that we are writing this particular letter you understand mm -hmm. so they're not looking into our situation really you understand mm -hmm. it's mean that we are we are just living by ourselves but but by the world really actually really, if you say that really, someone need to live in the country in a different country it's it's mean that really, you need to assist that person like whenever you think in the europe country all the people that they are in, they are in europe really, they are a refugee whenever you are 18 whenever they give you like income really, you need to travel all over the world you understand mm -hmm. and also you need to work you understand really? do you need this kind of projects will help you in this kind of problems uh, let me say it is very difficult for me to answer really the project will help me your project will help me really because it's a very new project really uh, I didn't see any example that you said from someone that you have been helping that person that have been going from another country or the person you have been sending someone from school you know you have been helping the person that let me say is still continuing his education you see or you have been helping let me say a uh, person that who has sick person you see to mm -hmm. try to support the person that have a medical issue you see because it's new project really so I, it's it's very difficult for me to to believe or to say no I be, let me say I just I just try to say uh, maybe one day your you your project will try to do better things really in another way but I don't know really mm -hmm. as for me really mm -hmm. but as for my advice your project according to your explanation you just said really you need a under 18 children and you wanted to help them some of them wanted to go from another country and some of them wanted to let me say to attend their school you understand so i think it is a very good idea really to me mm -hmm. tell us about your university uh really let me say uh i wanted to i wanted to continue my education but it is very difficult for me to continue Which my education. university um oh probably i don't have any choice for now because i don't have any university for now mm -hmm. But you lived Kadir Has? Yeah, of course, really, let me say I'm not a student for now. Uh -huh. But for the future, I want to become as a student. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, for example, 